the acquisition, material performance, and construction process. Why land is out of the purview of any researcher? It's only government that can do that. The other two can be achieved by researcher. That is material procurement, then the construction process. And if these three components are well taken care of in any environment, the dream of affordable and sustainable housing becomes a reality. Overall consumer costs can be reduced by between 10% and 35% if well utilized. While land acquisition is outside the purview of any researcher, as I earlier said, the other two components are within the research, within the reach of researchers, and the two, research, the two areas have been my research focus. Other contributions. Chancellor, sir, I'm delighted to intimate you that I have not only contributed my quota to research endeavor, I have also contributed in building consumer professional services, university administration within an outside communal university author, as well as academic mentorship, you know, as indicated in the book here. I don't want to stretch on it. Recommendation for improvement. The following have been suggested for an improved system. One, housing policy. The concept of sustainability and affordability needs needs to be adequately explained in policy formation to realistically achieve efficient housing production delivery. Government cannot just come and impose things on us. It has to be explained the need for this, especially you know, for the less privileged and uh, for the elite. Land policy. The largest percentages of population cannot afford high prices and you know, high price tag on land and are forced to settle in slum. I went to visit my friend. I was just going, 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 going. I thought he was going to sell me. I said, I cannot go again. I asked why. In search of uh, affordable land, it shouldn't be at all. Many people have gone to the slum. You would think they are mad. They are not. Because that's what their money can afford. So if government can come in this regard and they can legislate it, it should not be based on points of demand and supply again. Land should not be more than this. Anybody that says more than this, going by the you know, Land Use Act, 1973, government is the owner of every land. They can do that and it is doable. From there, you can have achievable land. Allocation of land for housing should be based on local circumstances, not the highest bidder. Encouraging local content. Researchers should be encouraged to develop local building materials as alternatives to the foreign content. This could be carried out by sponsoring research and development in all ramifications and legislative compulsory partnership of local materials by the populace. This consumption giant, the foreign company, anything they do here, they take it to their own base for researches and so that it shouldn't be. They are benefiting from us in Nigeria. Everything regarding tests should be done in Nigeria. It should not take it to their own base. So if government can encourage this thing, by the time you are doing defense, you just legislate it. All these companies must come and watch the defense. Then from there, it can be taken off from there. Coordinating agencies. Creating a government body with the responsibility of fostering relationship among the stakeholders in the provision of sustainable and affordable house. Through various incentives, monitoring and evaluating all affordable, all affordable housing projects should be intensified. Housing finance. Subsidies, especially interest rate and loan administration subsidies, subsidies, we go a long way towards making housing finance more available and affordable to the low income families. Go to the bank, you have for the interest rate, 
He said it's enough to kill one. So why are pushing them? It should be friendly. Go there as low. The Federal Market Bank established has not achieved the aim. So there should be concerted, serious effort towards this. All inclusive participation. The government should promote active involvement of civil society in order to address the needs and priorities of these of the vulnerable and thus contributes to good government. Encouraging real estate developers. Various benefits should be provided by the government to enable private housing developers to participate actively in the provision of low cost housing. Because the input determine the output. By the time they find it difficult to secure now some of that thing, by the time they are coming out of it, it will be high that uh, only, you know, those that are symphony are money and those that live outside abroad that can afford it. For example, offering land as an option to private developers working on low and low middle projects should be intensified. Establishing of construction gardens in tertiary institutions. Establish of construction gardens, an open place of practical demonstration should be encouraged in other tertiary institutions. In civil engineering building where we are using, we have defaced the place, we have defaced the wall, we have defaced the environment. It shouldn't be, you build as it, you demolish it, you test this and that, from there, the student gain prowess. Garden. Give them space to demonstrate their power. Leave them to their wall, and they will become better builders. <laughs> Acknowledgement. Glory, honor, and adoration must be given unto God Almighty for his mercy and faithfulness in my life from the crazy. I am grateful to the Chancellor and Chairman Board of Regents of Covenant University, author, Dr. David O. Oyedeko, for yielding to God's mandate in establishing this university. I also appreciate the motherly advice and diverse impartations of the Vice President of Education, Living Faith Church Worldwide, Pastor Mrs. Faith Oyedeko, and all members of Board of Regents of Covenant University, author. My application goes to the Vice Chancellor of Covenant University, Professor Abiyod H. Adebayo, the Registrar, and my very good friend, Dr. Lucia Gomidiora, and other members of management for their quality role, quality role. My gratitude goes to the current dean of my college, College of Science and Technology, Professor TV Omotosho, the immediate past dean, Professor K. Wajanoku, other past deans of the college. The roles of professors, the role of other professors in the College of Science and Technology are deeply appreciated. The cooperation and love of my current stroke SHOD, deputy deans and colleagues in the former School of Environmental Studies and the entire college are well recognized and applauded. I salute the cooperation and love that exists among the faculty and administrative members of my department, which I'm presently heading. The unfailing support and cooperation of the departmental technologies are well recognized. I appreciate the cordiality and academic zeal of the department visiting lecturers and all examiners of the department. My gratitude is extended to all PhD supervisees. I would like to acknowledge the confusion of Professor D.A. Adesonia who supervised both my MSc and PhD thesis at where you live here, and for his father's role in my life. The decision must be made of my doctoral colleagues who are coincidentally supervised by the same erudite professor, D.A. Adesoya. And I'm glad to report that all of us are professors today. Two of them are deans, and one has been elected as the deputy vice chancellor academics in Obafemi Awal Lowa University. I applaud the contributions of all academic gurus from my alma mater, OAU Lefe. My warm appreciation to all sons and daughters of Igajo, most of whom 
are well represented at today's gathering. I must especially appreciate the leadership of the Nigerian Institute of Building, NLB, and Council of Register Builders of Nigeria, Coburn. I would like to appreciate the contribution of my secondary school colleagues of almost 37 years ago. They are also represented there. Similar appreciation goes to the OMF Grammar School General. I acknowledge the steady support and friendship of my university colleagues in my undergraduate days. I equally recognize the love and moral support of the leadership of Auguste Chapter of NIOB. I acknowledge the contribution of my noble colleagues from the various universities. I can see them here, Professor Adenuga from, Uni, uh, from Unilag, and so on and so forth. I want to appreciate the contributions of all the noble men of God and churches in my life. I humbly acknowledge the spiritual and moral support of the leadership of Anglican Church of the Risen Christ for Kiyomiru Elisha. I sincerely recognize my esteemed colleagues, friends, and associates from various universities, polytechnics, colleges of education, and professional bodies in the country and across the globe. I extend my gratitude to the lovely members of my fellowship group, Winner Satellite Fellowship, Duplex A4, a covenant university in which I served as a cell minister till March 2021, when the as for elder located to another apartment. I'm strengthened by the foundation laid for me by these three gurus, by three great men who are now going to build with their creator. First, in the order of mortality, is my look alike elder brother and a graduate of University of Ibadan, Mr. John. Olale Refagbenle, who died after a brief illness in Kano during his mandatory national youth service here in 1987. Second person is my dad, Pa Samuel Oshofagbenle, for his belief that the only legacy worth bequeathing to one's children in life is education. He did this religiously till he rested in 1996. Last is my mentor, brother, an eldest son of the family of 23 children and professor of mechanical engineering, Professor Richard Lai Fagwenle, who joined the Triumphant in May 2019. You are all greatly missed. Back to the living. Permit me to openly appreciate my elder sister, Bosede Adeiga, for lifting me out of the horrible pit in my darkest hour. I would like to especially appreciate my Cheerful mother, Mama Munisola Abedifagwenle, for all her age long labors and for believing in me in all time. I am glad that you are alive, ill and ill, and vivacious at over 92 years to witness today's historic event. Special mention must be made of my elder brother. Mr. Shukofagbele and wife, for looking for their benevolent love and care to me at all times. I appreciate the leadership role and care of the sovereign firstborn of the family, Mrs. Ajibike Ayeni. It is extremely important for me to appreciate the steady parental roles of my elder sister, Mrs. Omota Yoladipo, and I love your husband, Mr. Yoladipo, in my life from the cradle. I salute the support of my big brother and the doyen of journalism, Mr. Atunde Fagwenle. Indeed, your simplicity, accessibility, and philanthropic gestures in all situations are deeply appreciated. The good legacies, the good legacy laid for me at the Polytechnic System, Polytechnic Ibadan, and Washington State College of Nigeria Sauke by my senior cousin. Engineer Akinade Shui and elder brother, Mr. Paul Aditi Fagwenle, can never be overlooked. You indeed provided a soft landing for me in these two institutions, including moral, honesty, hard work, and objectivity. I sincerely re recognize the brotherly love of my elder brother and the traditional chief of our company, Proctown, Chief Dotun Fagwenle, the Logudio of 
Isa Okeresi, Okeresi, Igbajo, and why? Sister Tejo Fagwenle, they are also here. Permit me to appreciate the one I sincerely, I sincerely recognize the immeasurable contribution of my in-law from both mother and mother's side. I must recognize the sound role of very, very Emmanuel Akanola Bufalashe of blessed memory in my wife's life since her cradle. I want to openly acknowledge the unfortunate support of my God ordained partner, helpmate, and a co pilot in the journey of life, and mother of my children. <laughs> Lady Evangelist Ayo Fagbele. Beautifully voluptuous, you are indeed a very pillar of support, a counselor by excellence, a woman of integrity, candor, a faithful personality, a quintessential lady of many parts. In fact, you have proved to me that money cannot buy happiness. Neither gold nor silver, but happiness comes from the little things partners do. You have shown to me that one plus one is always equal to one. No matter the distance, no matter the distance, Thanks also for tolerating my excesses in some cases. To you, my wonderful, articulate, and meteoric children, Emmanuel Olabayo, Deborah Mofin Folua, and Lydia Olua Damlola Fagunle. You are indeed a people stand, and I give thanks for your cooperation. I must also appreciate my son, Emmanuel Labayo, for helping me out with the technical aspect of this manuscript. I must also recognize my very good brother and academic mentee, Abraham. Mr. Adoka Abraham Olasheni of Architecture Department for helping out in the PowerPoint too. To the ubiquitous and infallible God, I say thank you. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads me, who daily loads us with benefits. Even the God of our salvation, Psalm 68, verse 19. Permit me to further appreciate God with this Yoruba song from stanza three of IOM 340. The English version is CH369. Yesu kilo ri ni no mi ti fe no bi wato ba Yeah, 
Thank you very much, sir, for the lecture. We may please be seated. May I now respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor of Covenant University, Professor Humphrey Adebayo, for the closing remarks. Please put your hands together as he comes forward. Thank you so much, the Emmy, the Chancellor, sir. I believe you have listened to the well-delivered lecture from the 24th inaugural lecturer of today. One more time, let's give him a round of applause. That was a well-delivered lecture. Congratulations and congratulations. There's no doubt that he has made quite a lot of recommendations today on affordable and sustainable housing for all. A lot of recommendations have been made on how our government will need to come up and bring about some reformations and implement policies that has to do with land, land policy, housing policy, even building local content as recommended by the inaugural lecturer of today. And but above all, he has also pointed us to that for affordable and sustainable housing, it is an all-inclusive Kind of in the venture that we must all collectively put our efforts together in ensuring that we have a very viable and affordable housing for all. And what does that mean? It means that if you are not a landlord, you are also a tenant. Do I have a witness in the house? You are either a landlord or you are a tenant. Yes, Greg, you are growing to becoming a landlord, but you must also maintain and ensure the sustenance of the house where you are currently staying. If it's an all-inclusive venture, definitely you and I have a role to play in ensuring that housing is affordable to all. As landlords, we must also be very careful on how we jack up the house rents of even tenants that may not be able to afford that just because you want to make some money. So we need to all come up and ensure that housing for all is a reality again. One more time, let's put our wonderful hands together for the inaugural lecturer of today for a well-delivered lecture. So it's on this note, once again, I'd like to appreciate every one of you for coming and trusting God that you will have a very safe flight or return to your various destination. One more time, thank you for coming and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir, the Vice Chancellor of Covenant University. It will not be out of place to acknowledge the following dignitaries who have come to honor the lecturer of the day. First is Chief Fagwenle Oladotu, the Logunde of Igbajo Land, Ocean State. You're welcome, sir. We also have Professor O.A. Adenuga from the University of Lagos. Reverend Canon B. Owojuade, Professor Godwin Idoro, University of Lagos, Professor M. Dada, University of Lagos, Dr. F. I. Ape, Director, Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute, 
Dr. Daudu Adeniro Ogunsoya, College of Education, Deputy Provost. Builder E.A. Awe. Dr. Akin Aino from OGSA 1984 set. Builder Mrs. Akomolafe Oshun State Polytechnic. Engineer A.J. Ayodele, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Abuja. Please put your hands together and many more persons who came to honor the lecturer of the day with their presence. To lead us further, allow me to invite Professor Temidayo Omotosho to bring us the vote of thanks. Professor Temidayo Omotosho, the Dean of the College of Science and Chancellor of Kobe University, permit me to stand on the already existing protocol. First of all, we'd like to thank God Almighty for the success of this 24th inaugural lecture. We want to thank God also for making today a reality for safety and the journey mercy for all far and near. And secondly, we'd like to thank the Chancellor of Covenant University for providing this platform of covenant for intellectual discourse. We also like to thank all our guests from far and near. Thank you for coming. We also like to thank family and friend and well wisher. We also like to thank member of the press. We also like to thank every member of the college, faculty and staff that have rallied around to make today a success. We also like to thank our kings and queen, king in Hebron, and for making today also a reality to God alone be all the glory. Thank you all for coming. As we tilt towards the end of this event, kindly know that at the end, we are invited to a cocktail right opposite the chapel at the CLR, the Center for Learning Resources. All members of Senate, invited guests, and the university management are invited. Right. Then immediately after the cocktail at the CLR, duplex A5 New Estate, members of his family, faculty and staff members are also invited to, an invited guest exactly, to another, you know, treat at his house. <laughs> Thank you very much. To close us at this meeting, allow me to invite the Chaplain Covenant University, Pastor Kayo De Martins. Please let's rise as we pray. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Our dear Lord, we give you thanks and praise for all you have done today in this 24th inaugural lecture. We thank you for everyone you have brought from far and near. We thank you for your presence that have been with us right from the beginning of this inaugural lecture and as we end it right now. We ask, O oh God, that your presence will not depart from us in Jesus' name. From the inaugural lecturer to his family and to everyone invited guest and this entire institution, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will keep guiding us in the mighty name of Jesus. To everyone as they return back to their various locations, Lord, your presence will go 
in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall not be any evil report that will be accounted to this day in Jesus' name. And we ask, O oh God, continually your presence, your grace, your wisdom shall be available to all in Jesus' precious name. Every suggestions that have been given, every recommendations in this inaugural lecture, we ask, O oh God, that you perfect them in Jesus' name. And for both this institution and our nation, it shall be progress on every side. We bless your name today, Lord. Thank you and thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Right now, let me invite the Covenant University Band for the CEO. And immediately after the CEO anthem, because of the rain, we will have the photograph session right here. And then the procession will proceed in reverse order. See you, Anton, please. Thank you very much, Covenant University Choir. May I now invite Please continue with a soft melody whilst we take the photograph. Thank you. Students, please hold.
Procession in the reverse order. Once again, we appreciate everyone for making out the time to be at this event. Thank you to the university management, members of Senate, our professors, kings and queens in Hebron. Thank you for your time. For the loved ones and invited guests and distinguished guests who also grace this occasion of the inaugural lecture, we appreciate your time. Thank you and may God bless you richly.